Peace with Tua Dump D Prime 215 here back again. I know it's been a little while since I've done a, a wrestling match review. I've been doing a lot of predictions lately. Nonetheless, here I am. Uh, so we have one of my dream matches in the dream match of many. We had John Moxley versus Tetsuya Naito in New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 29 tournament. Uh, this match was everything I hoped it would be. Yes, I was wrong. I did predict for Naito to win this match, but Moxley got it. Either way, look, this match was amazing. Um, once again, it was everything I expected it to be. So let's get into it, right? Uh, set it off. Uh, Naito is taking forever and a day, as he normally does, to get out of his suit and into his gear to actually start the match. Uh, this is not the first time he has done this. Uh, one previous time that really stood out to me was in the G1 Climax 25 when he was wrestling AJ Styles, and AJ was essentially chastising him and uh, making fun of Naito for taking forever and a day to get out of his suit and start the match. Uh, however, in this particular instance, as Naito was taking his shirt off, uh, I guess he learned from his match with Yano not to wrestle in his shirt. So as he's taking his shirt off, he throws it at Moxley. Moxley's like, oh, word. They start brawling. They ring the bell. Match begins. Bomb, right? So they start going back and forth. Uh, I love their, um, the taunts. The taunts were amazing because... They spent a good deal of the opening portion mocking each other, uh, like in between moves. It wasn't just like they were doing a, a taunt battle for the first 10 minutes, but going back and forth, uh, you know, Moxley even going as far to hit um, not just Naito's taunt where he lays down and puts his fist up, but he even went as far as to do the fake dive roll into the lay down uh, Naito taunt which was amazing because not a lot of people go that far to taunt Naito and mock him. So I'm like, yo, hats off for that. That was amazing. Uh, they brawled outside the ring. Excellent outside brawling. Uh, I'm very, like, generally speaking, I don't like when people brawl on the outside of the ring because most people don't do it well. They do it where it's like, okay, we need to add some time into the match. We need to add some suspense. I'm like, all right, I can see that, and it's not good. However, when Moxley and Naito did it, it was stellar. Uh, Moxley is always makes great use of his environment. Um, you know, he hit Naito with a uh, with the, a piece of the guardrail. He goes to hit Naito with the steel chair. Red Shoes steps in like, nah, we ain't having that. However, Naito had another one coming. He manages to hit a, a front drop kick onto Moxley while Moxley's holding the chair. Essentially drop kicking the chair in Moxley's face. To follow up to that, he places Moxley into a chair, just sits him down, goes to the top of the ramp, runs all the way down the ramp, drop kicks my, uh, Moxley in the face. That was great. They get back in the ring, they're back to the, you know, the back and forth and everything. Uh, great technicality. I love uh, Moxley. He's using that, uh, that regal knee, a nice, you know, addition to his repertoire, so to speak. Uh, Naito got in his signature uh, Tornado DDT. I wish he was able able to hit the Gloria. He may have hit the Gloria. I'm, you know, I was watching the match and a few highlight videos, so if I missed that move, forgive me. But um, that was great. I wish you know he was able to hit the Gloria. If not once, maybe a bit more. And the finishing sequence I thought was very cool too. So Moxley and Naito, they have uh, at this point I'd say a few variations of the finishers, right? Uh, Naito, yes, we know he has a Destino, but he has a, a variation of it that, um, you know, you could kind of argue was like a setup where he does like a running Destino. He does, he, of course he has the, the wrist clutch, the side DDT, right? But the running Destino, the person's facing away, he runs up behind them, does a backflip, he lands face down in this variation. He manages to hit Moxley with that, Moxley kicks out the two. Cool. Moxley... Uh, then retaliates hitting a um, his version of a death adder one version, which many of us may know as uh, the Dirty Deeds when he was Dean Ambrose in WWE, just a plain double on the hook DDT. Uh, Naito kicks out of that, uh, manages to end the match with the death adder that we know and love, the new version that he's been doing. We also know and love the first, the, the Dirty Deeds version, but we like this one too. Uh, the uh, double on the hook lifting DDT, kind of like a butterfly DDT, um, similar to Jun Akiyama's, except he actually spikes them as opposed to a face bump. So he manages to end the match with that. Once again, this match was stellar. Um, I was pulling for Naito, but 
look, man, I'm not mad that Moxley got this one. I just hope that this is not the last time we see Moxley versus Naito. As you could tell, I was very excited about this match. I hope you guys were too. I can see on my last, on my prediction video, a lot of people were on there commenting about it. So it's good to see people are, um, you know, they care about my opinions and they care about the wrestling. So that's good to know. Make sure you subscribe at dprime215 and let me know what you think in the match. Do you think it was great? You think it was okay? You think they should have changed anything about it? Uh, could have added something to it? Let me know what you think. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Oh, one last thing about this match. That avalanche Frankensteiner scared the crap out of me. I thought Naito was going to break his neck. So Naito, if you're watching this or whoever's going to translate this or whatever, yo, don't ever do that again. That avalanche Frankensteiner, I thought you were going to break your neck. We need you, man. Don't be out here killing yourself. You know what I mean? Don't go too hard. You know what I mean? So on that note, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.